Hello, welcome to Ephata. Jesus said, "Be opened." Have you wondered why Jesus addresses Mother Mary as the woman in the Gospel of John? Mother Mary is addressed as the woman to establish her status as the new Eve, just as Jesus is the new Adam. Let us take a look at the various references of Mother Mary as the woman in the Bible. The woman in Genesis. In the Garden of Eden, after the forbidden fruit was eaten, causing the fall of humanity, God the Father rebuked Satan, saying, "I will put enmity between you and the woman, and your seed and her seed. She will crush your head, and you will lie in wait for her heel." Mother Mary is referenced as the woman, and the mission of Mary is laid out. Mary will oppose the enemy, and in union with the Messiah, the head of the enemy will be crushed. The woman at the wedding feast at Cana. During the wedding at Cana, when the wine ran out, Mother Mary interceded to Jesus on behalf of the bridegroom's family, and Jesus said to her, "Woman." How does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, "Do whatever he tells you." Jesus calls his mother as the woman to show us that she is the new Eve. Mother Mary plays an important role in humanity's redemption by being obedient to God's plan and thus bringing forth the savior into this world. The miracle of turning water to wine during the wedding at Cana is the first miracle performed by Jesus, and remember, this happened at the behest of Mother Mary. Do whatever he tells you are the final words of Mother Mary recorded in the Bible. Let us also persevere to do whatever Jesus tells us. The woman at the foot of the cross When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, "Woman, behold your son." Then he said to the disciple, "Behold your mother." And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Thus Jesus surrenders his body and life for our salvation. When the soldier pierced Jesus, the blood and water which gushed from his side symbolizes the Eucharist and baptism. This moment also signifies the birth of the church. Jesus also assigns his mother with a new mission, to be the mother of the church he just established. The woman in Revelation. A great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She gave birth to a son, a male child. Destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod, her child was caught up to God and His throne. The woman clothed in the glory of the sun, and who brought forth a child caught up to God, is Mother Mary. She wears a crown of twelve stars, which represents the twelve tribes of Israel and the twelve apostles, and hence she is the Queen of Heaven. The great battle with the dragon. Which is then described in this chapter is a fulfillment of the battle described in Genesis. Thus, Mother Mary, who brought forth the Son of God, is the new Eve, the new Ark of the Covenant, the daughter of Zion, Christ the King's mother, Theotokos, and the Queen of Heaven. Thank you guys for listening, and don't forget to visit our YouTube channel, and you can read more about this on our blog, Ephatha.co.